Hey guys, this is not my usual setup, is it? <laughs> so, I'm actually at a friend's house, but I had to shoot this intro and outro while I'm out here. So here you go, a little change of scenery, a beautiful, beautiful plant. Love this thing, I need one for myself. So welcome to all the new foods that I got to try in October. We have a bunch of Trader Joe's items in here, although not all the Trader Joe's options that I bought. I'm gonna try my hardest to try the falafel and the cookie mix this month so you guys can see it in the next video. Um, but in general, I feel like there's just so much to try this month. I hope you have fun watching this video. I hope you go out and try my food recommendations or you save some money on my food un recommendations what happens how, how do you say when you don't when you anti recommend something maybe I'm having a brain fart there has to be a word for that right anyway without further ado here's all the new foods that I got to try in October hey guys random and really quick so I got the chance to try these protein bars recently let me show you from good snacks they are vegan protein bars, around 200 calories each with like 15 grams of protein, I think. Yes, 15 grams of protein. Now, they're a slightly odd texture. I don't mind them. It tastes like, ah, dang it, I forgot what those bars. You know those like kind of mushy bars that people tend to like pop in the microwave, but there's usually like a coating on it, like chocolate or frosting or whatever. Anyway, I found out that while I do like some flavors, some flavors I don't like at all. So I wanna say the top two flavors that I really like ended up being lemon and birthday cake, with birthday cake being my absolute favorite. Like, the macros are good, they taste good, at least those two flavors, and I just wanted you to know that they exist. Peace. Hey guys, okay, really quick, we're about to review the Trader Joe's meatless burgers and some vegan like cheese slices. Uh, let's look at the burgers, they look a little bit weird. I hope they're okay to eat. This is the one that we are reviewing in our haste, and they look like this. My only problem is, what is the dark pink spots? Um, I hope it's just like a bit of dye, you know, that didn't get mixed in quite thoroughly because I'm still gonna eat it. Um, let's go. Can I? Can we? Ah! I don't have, um, buns, so we're gonna be putting this on like regular bread right here, but that shouldn't make a difference. And the cheese we are trying is this one right here, cheddar style slices. Um, the main ingredients is cashew and coconut oil, pretty basic. Um, but it looks like kind of good, so I really hope it turns out good. Update, it is giving me a milder version of the Beyond Meat smell. And the color is odd. Boom, I have the cheese, some ketchup, some mustard, some iceberg lettuce. I don't have any tomatoes, so I don't, I didn't put any. It doesn't smell like Beyond Meat anymore. I cooked this for a long time, but it's still mushy. I don't like that. See? It's still mushy. Not terrible. Let me try the cheese by itself. How do I say no in more than two languages? No and lep. Wait, do I know Hebrew? All I remember from Hebrew is like how to serve food and like how to give directions. Okay, if Yamina is yes, Shmole, shmole, uh, how do you say left is no? I don't know, just no. That cheese is so bad, it's so grainy, what? It's so not okay, that cheese is not okay. The burger is a 7.5, a seven, because I wouldn't purchase it again. Hold up, while I'm here, I, I taste tested these two things in my like Trader Joe's video, but I feel like they, like, they belong here too. So first off is this watermelon jerky. Um, I'll tell you right now that it's a no from me, dog, but I'll show it to you. It looks like this. It's like way too thin to be like pleasantly eaten, and it's way too sweet and has a faint like... What is that smell? I want to say like dog food, maybe like wheatgrass dog food smell. It, it doesn't taste like dog food, but the smell is there, which is weird. Um, and it's just too sweet and I don't like it. It tastes like when you let a watermelon go like way too ripe and it turns kind of clear, like not that good. But on the other hand, I'll tell you something that is freaking delicious. This, this maple sea salt, 
kettle corn. Um, so freaking good. Think caramel corn, but like maple syrup flavored. Um, so freaking delicious. 10 out of 10. Mmm. Really good. Okay, that's all I have to say. Bye. Hey guys, this is definitely a recommendation, uh, especially if you're Middle Eastern and you want like a quick and easy way to get this, here you go. All right, so a few months ago I found this brand called Z and Z, and they make manoush tzatar, and it's like this like flatbread with this like oregano-y zesty uh, spice on top, and they send it to you like frozen, but like ready to eat. You just like pop it in the oven for five minutes and boom, it's done. It's so freaking good. And you make it like, you can make it as is, like you can just like heat it up. But uh, I always, when I grew up, I made it with tomato and cheese on top. So I made myself one and I like got myself a piece with tomato and cheese. Mmm. And let me tell you something. There is so much low quality zatar out there. Zatar is like this green stuff right here. There's so much low quality, nasty ass zatar out there. So when I got this and I tried it and I tasted that they used the quality stuff from back home, I was overjoyed. Cause usually I have to get my family to ship this shit to me. They pack it like drugs in their suitcases and the bread they use is delicious. Mm. The website they have is it's not pizza.com, which is super cute. But if you like bold flavors, Middle Eastern flavors, get your hands on this. You can also roll it up with olives and mint and tomatoes. That's another really good way to do it. This made my day. Oh, yes, you're getting two clips in one day because I'm being productive. Guess who finally got her hands on um, the very, very much hyped cheesecake, cheeseless cheesecake from Trader Joe's. They come in these little tiny cute thingies and apparently like you're supposed to keep them in the freezer and then put them in the fridge several hours before deciding to consume them. Uh, funny thing, I didn't have that sort of forethought. So instead I popped this into a microwave for 30 seconds and we're gonna give it a good old try. Um, I wonder what the main ingredient in here is if it's not cheese. It's lima beans and coconut oil. Cheers. This is really good. <laughs> this is really good. And also, 30 seconds in the microwave made this perfect. So, mmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a nine and a half out of 10. I will unfortunately be finishing it. Wow. Trader Joe's. Mm. Hey, today's real quick review is for Trader Joe's cold brew coconut cream latte. Um, Trader Joe's cold brew yet yum, coconut not yum. So like mixed, mixed feelings about this thing right here. Uh, but we're gonna crack it open and try it anyway. Is this right? Roberto! <laughs> Do me a favor, is this rotten? 1721 ish, can it be? No, I don't think so. It tastes okay to you? Okay, that, that sip wasn't as bad. It's not good though. Three out of 10, would not buy. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit frustrated that somebody has parked their car right underneath my window and it's playing loud music and I have a lot of filming to do today, but I'm gonna try to ignore it. All right. We have two pieces of cookie related news. Um, the first one is, and oh, I'm excited for this one. So Sugar Dove Sweets is actually a cookie bakery run by one of my patrons. She sells off of Etsy and I will definitely leave the link down below. She recently came out with vegan cookies and she sent some over for me to try. They are chocolate, salted chocolate chip cookies. They are huge. Here's a thank you card inside, that adorable little logo. Now, I prefer them microwaved for a second, but I'm just gonna show you the cookie as is. Look at this beauty. Um, apologies for the little melty chocolate over here. It actually arrived to me perfectly fine, and then I, I, I let it get too hot, I guess. But you can see the little sea salt flakes and the huge uh, chocolate chunks in here. Absolutely 
delicious. She does use coconut oil in it. There's a little bit of a coconut flavor, just so you know. I know some people um, don't like that and some don't mind, but just a heads up. Um, super delicious. I will leave her Etsy shop down below. In other cookie-related news, Insomnia Cookies just came out with vegan gluten-free cookies. I think many of us know Insomnia Cookies, and I think at like one point they had vegan cookies, and then they like took it off the menu. But if that's true, that they're they're back, um, and they're gluten-free. I already said that. They look a lot like Chips Ahoy cookies, uh, but they also have like quite a few chocolate chips in them, and they look like this. Also, honestly, for me, they tasted a lot like the like the soft Chips Ahoy cookies, so pretty good as well. So enjoy those two awesome pieces of cookie-related news this month. Hey y'all, so Jerkless Jerky gave me this little tiny packet of jerky to taste test. Um, so taste test, I will. I can't see the ingredient list on it, but it does say on the back contains wheat and soy. And it expired the 31st. Oh, no, no, no. It expires the 31st of this month. I almost thought this expired last month, but we are still in October, at least over on this side of the camera. The company is called Jerkless Jerky, and the flavor they gave me was teriyaki agave chili. Plant-based, zero cholesterol, high protein. Let's check it out. I've tried a few vegan jerkies at this point, some of which I have liked, and some of which were either too sweet or too salty. Like there's this one brand, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say their name or anything. There's this one brand that's so salty, it like burns my tongue when I try to eat it. So I'm hoping this is not the same, except for I cannot get it to open. So here is a piece right here. There's a little more seasoning on the other side. This looks very, very meaty, very meaty. Okay. Oh wow, okay. Very chewy. I can't get my teeth th through it. <coughs> Spicy. <clears throat> this is pretty good. You know what? It is pretty good. I like it. I think it's like a soy wheat blend. The texture is some of the best I've had texture wise. And the flavor is like a little more tangy, like vinegary than I would have thought. But the vinegar and the spice and the sweet actually really really work so it's hard for me to give a, a jerky a full thumbs up but i'll give this one a full thumbs up it tastes good i'd be down to try their flavors hey y'all so right now we are trying eclipse foods ice cream now in all of the publicity around this brand they've been called like the impossible foods of ice cream and all that stuff we have a uh, cookie butter and chocolate and i think um, a natural vegan recently did a review on these, although I didn't watch it. I saw it though. Like I saw the thumbnail, you know? Roberto recently tried these and said they had a weird aftertaste, so I'm curious. I also recently tried that like real dairy ice cream, like the vegan dairy ice cream, and I wonder how it holds up to that one. So I just have lots of thoughts. That being said, the packaging is really, really cute, very photograph friendly, adorable, you know? Instagram vibes. So we're just gonna taste it. The main ingredients are, I mean, this is for the cookie one, water cookie pieces and spread, sugar, canola oil, potato protein, modified food starch, tapioca, tapioca syrup. There are four servings in a container at 240 calories each. That's really, that's like a normal amount. So it's not like a diet ice cream or anything. And that is how it looks like. You can see the little scoop with the cookie chunks. And I guess it's time for a taste test. I'm pretty good. <laughs> the cookie flavor is delicious. And it's really creamy, but there's like a tiny bit of graininess to it. I still like it though. And I would eat it. I mean, I am eating it. <laughs> you don't see me stopping. It says they set out to make the first plant-based ice cream that is indistinguishable from dairy. I have to be honest with you, it's been five years since I've had dairy ice cream, so I couldn't tell you if this tasted like dairy ice cream. I could tell you it tastes pretty good though. I would give it an eight and a half out of 10. Delicious and I would eat again, at least this flavor. Now, I'm usually a chocolate person, so let's do this one. 
Ooh, I hope this one has chunks in it. Does it have chunks? No, I think it's just chocolate. That's okay, I'll forgive it. Here it is. Chocolate, looks super dark. Ooh, and creamy, okay, okay. That's pretty good. It tastes like dark chocolate. The texture is the same as the other one. I don't know, I would give it an eight and a half out of 10. A good solid ice cream, delicious. Get the thumbs up for me. I apparently can't stop eating it. Super quick review, quick review. I'm gonna try the Trader Joe's Organic Creamy Cashew Cultured Yogurt Alternative with the flavor strawberry. With a hint of coconut cream, what terrible decision. I purposefully don't get coconut yogurt because I don't want like fruit to be coconut flavored, but they really took cashew yogurt and put coconut flavor. I'm not happy about that. I mean, maybe I'll taste it, it'll be fine anyway, but like whoever made that decision, I just highly doubt you. I'm used to the silk soy yogurt, which is like my favorite right now. It's not as good as that, but it's not bad. I'd eat this. Flavor-wise, eight out of 10. Actually pretty good. I don't taste the coconut cream, so that's good. There's three grams of protein in the thing. I try to get a higher protein yogurt usually, so this still won't be my go-to. I'd still have like the silk soy yogurt as my go-to, but if you want cashew yogurt instead of soy yogurt, I know some people don't like to eat that much soy. Actually pretty good. I'll give it a thumbs up. All right, that is all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed, hope you were entertained. Let me know if there's anything specific I should look to try next month. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. That is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Curates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Marcia, Geminar, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Danny, Vanessa, Nakia, and Angie. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.